types of ringworm and their treatment. You get ringworm from contact with an infected person, animal, or object. Ringworm goes by different names depending on which body parts it affects. Ringworm on your body is called tinea corporis. These types of ringworm affect your arms, legs, torso, and face. Ringworm is treated with antifungal medication available in either over-the-counter or as prescription. Now, let's explore how different types of ringworm are treated. Ringworm has different names based on where it appears on your body, and it can appear just about anywhere. Without wasting time, let's start with ringworm infection type 1. Athletic foot, also called tinapedis. This fungal infection causes an itchy, burning skin rash between your toes and on the soles of your feet. Your skin may become scaly and cracked or develop blisters. Sometimes your feet smell bad. Treatment. Some of the topical medications we prescribe for fungal infection are tignectin, lamisil, and miconazole. With this treatment option, you apply the topical and fungal twice a day along with Vaseline for the prescribed period of time. So, currently many experts consider Grisoflavin to be the drug of choice for tinea capitis. Short-term tabinafin, intraconazole, and fluconazole therapy have been shown to be comparable in efficacy and safety with Grisoflavin. But when there is persistent cases may require topical or oral prescription medication like pectanzol and lamisane. Type 2. Jock itch. Jock itch causes a red itchy rash in your groin or upper thigh or rectum. Some people get blisters. Treatment of jock itch includes keeping the area clean and dry as well as applying topical and fungal medication. In most cases, jock itch can be treated with over-the-counter medicine, so you can use a topical and fungal cream like gold bond medication, powder, tinactin, or lamisil ointment. Type 3. Scalp Ringworm This causes scaly red, itchy, bald spots on your scalp. If left untreated, the bald spots can grow bigger and become permanent. Treatment for ringworm of the scalp it requires as prescription strength and fungal medication taken by mouth. The first choice medication is usually grisoflavin. Alternative might be used if grisoflavin isn't working or your child is allergic to it. Type 4. Hands ringworm. Signs of ringworm on your hands include dry, cracked palms and ring-like patches. You may be able to clear a mild case with an antifungal cream. Often, stronger and fungal medicine like tabinafine or intraconazo is necessary. If the ringworm has spread to a fingernail, you will need to take an antifungal medicine to get rid of the infection. Type 5. Beard ringworm. Ringworm appear on your neck, chin, and cheeks. The patches might become crusted over or filled with pus. Treatment. Topical. Applied to your skin. And oral and fungal medicine stops the growth of fungal infections. Tinea babae responds well to this treatment. If you have severe inflammation or carins, you may also take an oral costal steroid like Predinson. This steroid can relieve swelling and reduce the risk of scarring. 6. Touring worm. Nails become thick, discolored, and deformed. So, the fastest way to eliminate the infection is through toenail laser treatment. Also, studies show that drugs like intraconazole and tabinafine work best to help a new health nail grow to replace the infected one. Now, what are the signs of ringworm? Signs typically appear between 4 and 14 days after your skin comes in contact with the fungi that cause ringworm. So it includes circular ring shaped scales or plaques, flat patches with red round border, itchy skin, hair loss or bad spots in the affected area. So as you know, most people around the world think that ringworm only affects children. The answer is no. Ringworm affects people of all ages, especially those who have weakened immune system or an autoimmune disease like lupus. Those who participate in high contact sports such as wrestling, this ringworm is called tinea cladditorium. Those who sweat excessively, hyperdresis, they are more likely to get ringworm. Using public locker rooms or public showers, Working closely with animals that might have ringworm, you may easily get infected. 
as you know, ringworm is contagious and extremely common. It can affect 20 to 25 percent of the world's population at any given time. More so, ringworm is contagious. It can live on your skin, on surfaces, and in soil. The main ways that ringworm spreads are skin-to-skin -skin contact with a person who has ringworm. Contact with an infected dog, cat, or animal. Contact with a contaminated surface such as locker room floor or sweaty gym clothes. Now, research has shown that there is no national public health surveillance for common fungal infection such as ringworm. So it's not possible to know exactly how many people contract ringworm each year in the world. However, it is considered a common condition and can affect anyone at any age. Being infected with ringworm is completely normal and does not indicate an altered or depressed immune system. The good news is that antifugal medication can cure ringworm. The type and length of treatment vary depending on the location and severity of the infection. So, when you visit a hospital or a medical center, your healthcare provider can diagnose ringworm by looking at your skin and assessing your symptoms. They may scrap the area to look at the skin cells under a microscope to examine the scales typically confirms ringworm.